Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. This is going to be kind of a variety video. I have a small thrift haul to show you. I'm going to do an update on my mini garden that I started inside. And if you wait until the end, I think it'll be worth your while. So try to hang out with me until the end of this video. Um, but let me start off with my thrift haul. We went to Goodwill today. That's the only thrift store we went to. I picked up a couple of things. There's a couple of clothing items. So just wanted to go ahead and show those to you. So one of the first things I have here that I got are these little alligators <laughs> and they're pot holders. I think we got these probably for like $1.99 or a dollar. And they're the silicone kind. They're just really good for lifting hot pots with. And my boyfriend found these and looks like something he would find, but we actually really do need those. So that will be helpful. And he also picked up something called Slamwich, a fast flipping card game for ages six and up. Because we are big kids, he felt like we would enjoy playing this. So it's like some kind of sandwich card game. He loves card games, like he just he collects games. We have so many games. So he found that. As far as items that I found, right before I left, I found this sitting on the shelf and I just loved it. I have a thing for carousels and fair stuff. I tend to collect things that have um, Ferris wheels on them. I think it's the colors, like the pastel colors and the beautiful background. This is actually like a glass plate. You can hang it on your wall if you want to. I think, you know, the Dollar Tree has those little display holders, and I think I'm going to get one just to, like, hold this up maybe and put it in my background. But you can even see there's a little guy down there that runs the ride. And it says up here, Ferris Wheel at Steeplechase Park, Coney Island, New York. And I've never been there, but I know they have, like, a little fairground there. And I wonder if this was actually purchased there. It's by John Darian, and it looks like it was actually potentially signed by him down there. Starting to chip off, but it looks definitely like John in cursive and then something else after it. So, if y'all know anything about that little um, wall decor, plate, whatever you want to call it, let me know. And if you've ever been to Coney Island, let me know how it is, because I would love to maybe at some point check that out, because... Ferris wheels are cool. <laughs> Even if you're afraid of heights, like once you get up there and you can like look around. I will not do roller coasters. No, sir. I will not be turned upside down. That will never happen. I did one roller coaster. It was um, one at Disney World. I'm trying to think of what the Space Mountain I think it was. And at that time it did not go upside down. I think now it actually does. And even not going upside down, to me, it was absolutely terrifying. Like I thought I was going to die. So... I'm good on the ground. Y'all have fun up there. I'll take pictures. So I picked this up. So if you ever go to Goodwill, be careful with prices because sometimes, you know, the people accidentally make mistakes. And I noticed that my total jumped from four to eight dollars when he rang this up. He thought this was a pocketbook, which is understandable because I mean, it has, you know, kind of looks like it could be, but this is actually a Bible cover. And um, the price went from four dollars to 99 cents when I told him it was a Bible cover. So this says, love bears all things, first Corinthians 13, um, not sure what that last number is, but it's very cute. And I actually have my grandmother's old Bible and I have it in a drawer right now, but it does not have a Bible cover. And I saw this one and it just, it was, I just liked it. It had the little teddy bears on it and it had a verse on it and it's like cross stitched or something. So I picked this up and it has a pocket right here. And also in the inside, has a place it can hold your pen and the little Bible cover places. So we'll definitely use that because that's something, you know, it's really special. I just don't want anything to happen to it. So those are the actual like items that I have. The other things are clothing items and there's just four. So this is not going to take a very long time. I, this was my favorite one. I really love this. So this is a Talbot skirt if you can see it. And it has like a nautical look, like nautical ropes on it. It is so soft. Like y'all, you would think this was like a LuLaRoe skirt or something. So really, really like this. None, none of these clothing um, items are gonna be going into Poshmark. I'm actually gonna be wearing these. But this is a 2X and it's just really comfortable. I've, I've said it before, but I can wear anything when it comes to skirts from like large to extra extra large it just depends on who makes the item um certain companies I know what I wear and then certain companies I have no idea and I have to turn it on so this is by 
Ophelia? I don't know who that is. And the tag actually says small. This is not a small. It's not a small. But I'm going to wear this top with the skirt I just showed you. It's nice and flowy and long and it has little flowers. And I'll wear like a little camisole shirt underneath it. So this is the back of it. I'm holding it wrong. There we go. Very stretchy and summery. I thought it was really pretty. My boyfriend really, really liked that one on me. So I never like find three dresses or like skirts and dresses at one time. It was really weird today, but I actually found a couple of like nicer things I can wear to church. I got this dress. This is a extra large by Faded Glory. So as you can tell, the size difference. It does have the elastic right here and I do appreciate that because for us curvy girls that's good and it has elastic in the arms as well and this is the back of the dress so really pretty I like the pattern a lot it is not too short it's just really good um, summer dress and the last one is honestly a little bit intense for me. I don't usually do like busy patterns. You're gonna see this and be like, what were you thinking? <laughs> but this is really good for like Easter and I think this would be good for me to wear like close to Easter for church and it's really soft. It was probably the most comfortable out of everything I tried on. It's kind of hard to show you. But it's this one. It has a flower pattern to it. And again, it is really like low cut right there. So I would have to wear like a little camisole type shirt underneath. But I just like how it falls right there. And it's longer. It has a really pretty print. Doesn't that just remind you of like a garden of flowers in the summer? This is the back of it. I mean, y'all let me know, but that just reminds me of Easter. <laughs> and there's this little tie in the back. So flowers all over, super, super soft. It says made in China. Um, this is a 16 to 18 extra large, and it's by Land's End. So I've seen that brand before, but as you may come to know very quickly, if you have not been following my videos, I don't go by brands. You'll see all different kind of brands that I will buy. I go by fit and comfort, you know, how they look, their pattern. I could care less if it's from Walmart versus, you know, a really big clothing company. It doesn't matter as long as I personally like it. I went through a phase when I was younger where I was just really depressed and defeated about my weight. And don't get me wrong, I still am, but it's different. Back then, I would try to squeeze myself into really smaller sizes that did not fit me because I felt like if I was just wearing the sizes that I would look smaller. I know that sounds crazy, but we remember like in elementary school, middle school, and going into high school, like there was a lot of pressure. There was a lot of body pressure. There was a lot of self-hate. You know, a lot of people just did not love themselves, did not accept themselves. A lot of people did not have the parental guidance they needed, which made the shame and the uh, body image issues worse. Um, there was there were so many things that played into that so back then it's just like I was so obsessed with the size and the style and what I was trying to look like because I just wanted to be good enough I wanted to fit in and if I, I thought if I could fit in then the world would finally make sense I thought that was the answer to everything because I never really did fit in I mean I really I really don't think anybody knew I existed in high school and much less in younger years I had an awful time in school awful time but it's not how it is and if you're a younger adult or you're, you're a kid and you're going through school and you're struggling I just inspire you be who you are and whether that is accepted right now or not when you get out of high school and when you put all that behind you people will admire you and they will love you for it and they will envy you for it and what you are searching for in school is going to be different than when you get out of school you're going to find it okay I promise you that people today that have tattoos and dye their hair and get pierced and that dress like them like their style they don't copy everybody else to this day and I'm 30 years old I look at people and I envy their confidence I really do had they tried that in high school 
I don't know if it would have been the same thing as far as how people looked at them. It's just, I need to do a whole video on just like advice about if you're going through high school and what you have to look forward to and putting all that behind you. Y'all can let me know if you felt like that would be a good topic, if that would help some people, just your advice on that because I feel like there needs to be more people speaking out about how hard high school is and how tough body image issues are right now. We have elementary school students committing suicide y'all like it's in the paper we have like 10 12 year old girls like killing themselves because they don't feel good enough they don't feel accepted and they're lacking something in their life so it, you know in boys too I'm in boys I've heard boy young boys and girls so we'll work on a video maybe about that I'm not gonna get off on that whole topic because that needs that deserves its own video but wanted to ask y'all about that it reminded me speaking of clothing and just going into that um i'd like to bring awareness on my channel so that was that's something that needs some awareness all right guys so we just did the thrift haul let me show you the garden and then we're going to talk about the end of this video or what's coming at the end so all right y'all remember my mini garden my video i did on my mini garden when they were just starting to come out of the dirt Okay, we have some improvement. <laughs> we have some growth. So I wanted to show you what these little guys were doing, how they are coming along. So here they are now. I know it's kind of hard to see with the tags. I'm trying to tilt it down for you. So on the back row, we have our cucumber. And as you can see, they're doing really well. They're getting really big. The lettuce is right in front. You see the lettuce? Now, I have not seen an appearance from our peppers yet, neither our Spanish peppers or our regular peppers, so we are waiting on those, but um, the cilantro is up front, and it has made an appearance, standing tall there. It's funny how similar they all look, isn't that funny? And then in the back, behind the cilantro, we have the tomato, if you can see. Let me put it on the side. There it is. You see the tomato? It's, it's, let's see, that right there, can you see it? <laughs> that little greenery. That's the peppers, so as you can see, no growth there. And the Spanish peppers, but I have high hopes that they are going to hopefully break through next week. Um, if they don't, we'll just see, I'll keep watching them. But those cucumbers, man, they're going to town. Going to town. So yeah, that's really, really exciting. If you haven't seen my garden that um, I started, the mini garden from home DIY, I will link it below. Feel free to click on that. Also check out Pookie's Views channel. I got the idea from her. She will explain everything you need and how to do it. I will once again link her video below so you can follow her and see all of her good gardening tips. Um, okay, so... Now we're at the fun part. All right, guys, I appreciate the thousand subscribers I've received. Um, it has been a blessing to start YouTube. I have been able to put my heart into this. I have done so many things on this channel that I have not been able to do in the workforce, which is, you know, show creativity, um, speak my voice and my mind and actually be heard and appreciated by people instead of being like walked all over. I'm normally like the nice submissive girl, the one that works very hard, that breaks her back for people that will stay after work like trying to help close down that kind of person and I don't get really recognition or that much recognition for doing it you know I have a really hard time in the workforce so being able to have an outlet where I can just be accepted and show y'all all different aspects of my life whether I'm having a great day or I'm having a really dark day and I can't sleep and I'm up at night and I'm talking to you guys I've had y'all like respond on all different outlets whether it be emailing me or you know just listening to me Instagram um, advice giving me motivation below in the comment section, giving me a thumbs up, even to my um, more silent supporters who just support my channel and watch my videos, giving me watch time and truly wanting to be here. Y'all, I appreciate that. I appreciate you. I remember um, several months ago, we were at 500, but a few months before that, we were at 100. So we have not even hit a year, I don't think, of being on YouTube. I have to check that. But we're at like 1,075 today, 76, last time I checked. That is amazing. That is amazing. And I am so incredibly thankful to you guys. I wish I could do a bigger giveaway for y'all. I 
wish I had the money to do that, but with the resources that I have right now, I wanted to offer you guys a $15 Michaels gift card giveaway. And how many people know the sales they have at Michaels and how what you can find at Michaels? You could get some really nice scrapbook paper with this. You can get some home decor with this. There's so much you could get with this, um, even just being $15. So. I, what I want to do is, on, here, here, okay, so here's the rules. On this video, I want you to post below, below in the comments, okay guys, um, what you have enjoyed most about my channel or what you would like to see more of. One of the two have to be below. I ask that we keep this giveaway positive. I am always open to comments and suggestions, but let's just be really positive. I mean, if there's something more you want to see on my channel, feel free to tell me that. Even if I have never had it on my channel before and you're just like, I really love this topic and I would love to see you show it, I want to know that. That's not negative. So put that below or if there's something that really stood out that you've enjoyed about my channel, um, even if I do a lot of it and you're just like, I just want to let you know that that's awesome, keep going with that, post that below too. That will get you entered. One entry per person. This is a gift card, so I am going to offer this to outside and inside U.S. residents. Again, it is for Michaels, so I don't know if your country necessarily has a Michaels, but everybody is welcome to participate, um, and I would love to hear some feedback. I'm trying to think of any other rules. That's uh, Be a subscriber. Please be a subscriber. <laughs> That's important, too, because th these giveaways are for my subscribers. I don't do these giveaways with any kind of motive in mind. I do them to say thank you, to give back, to tell you guys that I appreciate you being here. That I have some followers that like comment every day. I have some people that watch that I don't even personally know you, but every once in a while, somebody will make a comment that I don't recognize and they'll be like, I just wanna let you know I love your videos, I love your personality, keep going. And I'm just like, that is so cool because I didn't even know that person was watching me. So there's all different forms of support, guys. And um, I want you to know I appreciate each and every individual one of those. I really do. So again, let's go through the rules one more time. Please be a subscriber. Please post below either what you enjoy most about my channel or what you would like to see more of. You can post both. You can post, you know, anything else you want to post, but I need to see one of those two things that I just stated to you. You do not have to be a U.S. resident. Just be a subscriber. The drawing will be held on Sunday, so today is Sunday, next Sunday at 8 o'clock. So normally I do my giveaways um, on Sundays, normally I do them uh, shorter than 7 days. I'm going to give you all 7 days. This is for a gift card, $15 Michaels gift card. I want to give everybody a shot that's participating in my channel. I know people are working, I know they're in school. I want everybody who wants to participate in this to participate. If you've won a past giveaway, you can still participate. If you're a channel creator, you can absolutely participate. Please participate. I love participation. That in itself shows support. I personally participate in so many people's giveaways that I follow. And um, don't feel bad about it. I've had people tell me they don't want to participate in giveaways. I respect that. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't feel like you shouldn't do it because maybe you don't comment on my channel every week. If you are a subscriber to me, you are qualified to participate in this giveaway, okay? So I hope everybody enjoys this. And remember, you have to comment on this video, this video right here. Please don't comment on my next couple videos because when I draw, it's going to be from this video and your screen name has to be below. One entry per person okay guys so I hope you have a wonderful night thank you so much for getting me here I appreciate you guys I respect you guys I have learned so much from each and every one of you and I look forward to many many more videos and watching y'all's content and learning from you hope you have a wonderful night take care bye guys